Hey folks, I picked up a native 1080p mini projector from Amazon. I'm gonna open it up and show you some of the features of this device. So as you can see, it comes with a nice carrying case so you can bring this around and here it is. It's got a user manual. It's got this cleaning kit as well. It has a wireless remote control, power cable. It's got these old school RCA cables, but it also comes with a more modern HDMI cable right here, which is what most of us will be using. And here's the projector itself. It's pretty small. And this is one of the main reasons why I chose this one. So here it is. You can see, obviously it's got keystone correction, focus uh, knob right here. You got the lens right there with the lens cover included. You can see there is a screw right here for you to adjust the angle for the height. You also have a mount right here. So you can mount this onto a tripod or a wall mount or something like that. Good ventilation, but should you put it on the table, there are rubberized feet right there. More ventilation here on this side. Here are the main connection components right here. So you do have old school VGA. You got a uh, modernized HDMI one and two inputs. The infrared port is right here. Two USB ports as well. You have this AV jack, which is for, for this one right here. A uh, headphone jack and a micro SD card slot right here. And there's the power source that comes in right here. And this looks like a speaker. That's the overview. We talked about the focus and keystone right up top, um, but there are physical buttons to go with this wireless remote. So the, the power button right here, the home button right here, the input button right here, the back button, four directional and an okay button right here. All right, so I just plugged in my Fire TV stick and it's loading it up on HDMI one. And this does tell you on the bottom that it is broadcasting at 1080 quality and it has sound right away. So let's watch some TV. So here are some of the menu system you can see. So there are a lot of sound options right here. You can choose the sound modes, the balance, auto volume, surround sound, Bluetooth output. So that's where you can plug in the speaker, uh, sleep timer. You can choose the on-screen display language, restore the factory default. You can rotate it in case you hang this upside down or at an angle, on-screen displays, duration. You can do software updates, really customizable. And you can see the picture quality is really good. This is broadcasting. This is a live TV channel right here. You can see the texts are easily um, visible. I have the sound off right now, but it does get really loud. And this is not even the max sound. This is the loudest it can get, and this definitely fills. I need to mute it, but the sound definitely fills a very large room. It's that loud. The 18 yard line, he went out of bounds. Really high quality sound. I don't even think you need a Bluetooth speaker for this. It's, it's pretty good quality. Um, and let's go to the different settings here. So here are the input sources, VGA, HDMI 1, 2, screen mirroring, AV, uh, Bluetooth mode, USB 1, 2, and the micro SD card. Let me go to screen mirroring. It gives you on-screen directions on how to use it. So depending on whether you have a Android device, an iOS device, or you want to do some other settings, I'm going to use the iOS device and it says to go connect through Wi-Fi to the device from your phone. Here's my screen right here. I'm just going to choose the Rovaco, Rova Moco, whatever. You, you'll find your device. And then the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to hit join. Sorry, it's probably not focused because it's focused on the screen. But I'm going to join. And then I'm going to open Control Center and do screen mirroring. And it's going to mirror my screen. All right, so now I'm done. I'm going to go to Control Center, screen mirroring. And there it is. I'm going to mirror my screen right here. And there it is. There's my phone. So now I'm screen mirroring everything on my phone wirelessly to the projector. And I can play my games in this glorified screen, which is much bigger than the one on my phone. So I can use my phone as a controller and use the projector to display my, my, my game itself. All right, so now I'm on YouTube. It's still scre screen mirroring. You can see how smooth it is when I move it on my phone. The screen mirroring works perfectly in line, so there's no delays. Very high quality display, much larger display. And if I click on any of this stuff, uh, here, let me click on this one. It'll start playing right there. So maybe if I do this, it'll do full screen. There it is. I'll unmute. My vending machine is open for business. Anybody want some food? You said vending machine? Well, I want some food. 
All right, and that's how easy it is to mirror your screen. All right, so that is the overview of this mini projector that I picked up on Amazon. Look how small of a footprint this is. And what a beautiful display it puts out. Check it out on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.